back with On the Road with Carla. Where we headed on this chilly morning? Bourbon County, here we go. <laughs> and we're back with On the Road with Carla, and I'm with McCoy Adwell. McCoy, what grade are you in? I'm in fifth. Fifth grader. So, what are we doing here today? We're having like a program in like the third, fourth, and fifth right now are gonna sing, and then later it's the second and first, and I am a conductor, and I'm gonna like be doing the stuff in Polar Express. Oh wow, that is awesome! So I love that movie. What about you? I haven't watched it. What? We gotta get you to watch that movie. So, um, but this program is about Christmas, right? Mm -hmm. All yes. right. So and what's what's your favorite thing about Christmas? Spending time with my family and like the food. And the food. So let me ask you, what is special about being here at uh, Bourbon Central? Uh, every kid is equal, and like you always, um, you always seen, and you're not left out with the te and the teachers are so nice and stuff, and the hallways and stuff are always clean because of our janitors. Wow, you know what? You are amazing. I like, I love what you said, and you even talked about the janitors, and it is very clean around here, and you're never left out. That's pretty special. All right, so good luck today. I can't wait to watch you in your show. Thank you for being on the road with Carla. Have a good day. Thanks. Thank you. It's beginning to look a lot like Christmas. And I'm back with On the Road with Carla, and I'm mm, not sure what's on my face. What is that? What? What? Glow glasses. Hmm. I'm with... Hey, it's Mr. White. Mr. White, and what's going on in the gym today? We're doing a little glow party, you know, we're throwing a little party for the kids, reading their books. We just really want to encourage them to just be their best in everything they can do. And as far as that comes with reading and just the things that we do, I think here at this school, wow, I mean, we got to celebrate how great these kids are. Did you hear that? Celebrating these kids, and they're doing it in style, too, let me tell you. So you are the music teacher. We try. Yeah? We try. Music, music teacher. Uh, how long have you been teaching? 
Uh, this is year four now. Yeah, year four. So. Year four. So you're still pretty I'm new. A little, yeah, yeah. I'm a little baby in it, yeah. you know, but I try. Well, I try. <laughs> yeah, but uh, what is special about teaching here? I think the most special thing about teaching here has got to be the kids. Um, and really, honestly, just the people. I'm finding that I'm actually from the city, and so this is a little more of a country scene for me. Um, but, man, the way that these kids love each other, I think the way that the teachers love on the kids, and it's just such, so much of a safe place. You know, I don't I don't know. There's, it's I, just so many I love things. that. I love how he's talking about a safe place. And, man, the big word love. Mm -hmm. And, and oh, that, that love goes love. a long way, right? Yes, so yes. much. I feel like it's the only thing, the biggest thing we need, really. Yeah. You know, it's just loving each other and loving the people around he's us. Giving me goosebumps so, just talking so. i'm like all right so um with that said it's christmas time oh yes and oh, yes. uh what's your favorite part of christmas um if i could be honest uh, my favorite part of christmas is i have a much of a church background um so celebrating jesus is something that i really like about christmas time but i really like that the idea of giving gifts because every day is the present so why don't we treat everybody like they're a gift, right? It's like in Christmas time, I think we just get to highlight that on such a big scene, you know, so that's definitely it for me. I like this guy. I, I think we're going to keep him. All right. <laughs> Thank you, Thank you Thank for you. being on the road hey, with Carla. Thanks for having me, Carla. Appreciate right. you. And we're back with On the Road with Carla, and I'm with Hudson. Hudson, what grade are you? Fourth. Fourth grade. Hey, what is your favorite thing about this school that you're at in Bourbon County? Uh... That mm, I'm trying to think of it. Uh, probably, probably recess, PE, like running around and stuff like outside. Yeah, yeah. And so, um, your favorite thing. So, what's special? What's what's special about being here? Uh, hmm. There's lots of good, cool teachers that you can meet, and you can make lots of cool friends. All right. That's awesome. It's good to have friends and have nice yeah. teachers, right? Yeah. So what's what's your uh, – so you like P.E., and you yeah. and you like uh, – uh, you said recess. recess. So do you like sports? Yes. Football, I'm going to try and sign up, like, near spring yeah. or something. You sound like you like like to play and have sports. So what, what's your favorite uh, thing that you study here? What's your favorite subject? Math. Math. Are you a math person? Yeah. That's awesome. So who's your favorite teacher? Well, used to be Miss Horn, but she retired, and now she works for um, reading groups. And but right now probably Miss Cook. All right. And what's special about Miss Cook? <sighs> She's very nice. That's good. That's good yeah. to be very nice. You know what? Thank you for being on the road with Carla. No problem. <laughs> And we're back with On the Road with Carla, and I am with Abigail Huff, Owen McFarland, John Carlos Tamayo, Eden Payne. All right, guys, thanks for being on the road with Carla. So you're here today, and you go to what elementary school in Bourbon? North Middletown Elementary School. North Middletown, thank you. And so you're with a group called STLP. What does that stand for? Anybody? <laughs> Oh, uh, Student Technology Learning Program. Awesome way to remember. And you guys are special because you designed, what did you design? We designed games that help kids learn more. Learning games. Oh, my gosh. So you have your own website? Website, yes. Website. And what all's on this website? Um, we have rounding. We have, um, like basic division, multiplication, and a lot more standards. Wow, guys. So here in just a moment, we're going to look and see these games. Um, did you help make some of these games? Yes. And what was your favorite game? <coughs> well, just which one? Yeah, which one do you like the My most? favorite was this one up here. The rounding? Yeah. Rounding with Ava. All right. I like it. So, you guys ready to show me this big deal here? Yes. All right. You guys are pretty talented. And I appreciate it. And, uh, do I get to play a game? Yeah. 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 All right. Let's go for it. Except for now, I'm a little worried. I might lose. Ah! 
gonna go against you. <laughs> Easier than me. You're on the what? Academic team. It's like Okay, on the road with Carla. We're getting ready to do some. I don't know what that is. Hello. Sound like a phone. Uh, we're getting ready to do some stuff with the band. I am with. Uh, my name's Case Osborne. What year are you, Case? I'm a senior in high school. Senior, and you're getting ready to play. I played the trumpet. Trumpet. And then you are. Leslie Castro. And Leslie, what year are you? Um, I'm a senior. All right, we got two seniors, and uh, we're getting ready to do the fight song. Right? Yes. All right. Here, here in just a moment. Okay. So we have the national champions here, right? Yep. Wow. Here we go. What's your name? My name is Leanne Baker. And what year are you? I'm a sophomore. Sophomore. And tell me about uh, what you have in front of you. Um, this is a like a boot rack made out of horseshoes. I still have to put a bar on it so I can like sit on it. That's good. And so you put that together yourself? Yep. Awesome. Welding class, obviously. Pretty cool. So. You're basically gonna put a bar in between, right? Yeah. Yep. You gotta cut it down. Mm -hmm. Alright. Here's, here's the. Huh? What's the one? Mr. Fritz, yeah. what's the, what, the thing you told me to cut with this? I just used grinder to cut it off. Was it the. Well. And what is your name? My name's Caitlin Smith. Caitlin, and you're a what grade? Is it all sophomores? Uh, no, it's a mix of sophomores and juniors. Sophomores and juniors? Yeah. And there is something special about this particular class. Do you know the answer to that? Uh, yes, it's all girls. It's all girls in this ag program. So you get to uh, learn about welding. What else? Uh, car maintenance. We had an electrical unit. Yes. Uh, we used the plasma cutter to cut out things. We learned design on the computers. Awesome. So, so far, what do y'all think about that? Like, have you have you learned a lot? Yes. Yeah. Do you feel like comfortable maybe with some things when uh, when it comes to a vehicle? Like, yeah. Ha have you learned how to change a tire yet or anything like that? No. Uh, we learned basically where everything is and all of that. That's cool. All right. All right, guys. Thank you for being on the road with Carla. These boots are made for walking right here. Uh, 
That's cool. Yeah, really good. good job, guys. Thank good you. job. Good job. My name is Zoe Carter. And what year are you? I am a uh, I am a twelfth grader. Senior. You're a senior. senior. All right. Senior. Almost time to graduate, right? Yes. Yes. Awesome. Well, you guys are doing good work here. Thank you so much. And we're back with On the Road with Carla, and I'm with Mason. Mason, what year are you? Uh, graduating the class twenty five. 25 not too far off um so you're in the ag program what's your uh, favorite class in ag uh, i like animal science the most i like learning about all the animals and you do have a farm correct it's like a little yes, far off yeah. yes ma'am yeah so what what's your um i don't know a whole lot about animal science so what is one thing in particular uh that you like about animal science uh we just got finished learning about the biosecurity of animals just uh just make sure you keep the farm safe so none of the animals get sick really Oh, well, and that is extremely important yes. considering uh, a lot of meat come from there, right? Yeah. yeah. Um, so um, what is special about Bourbon County High School? Uh, what I think special about Bourbon County High School is with our grade especially is we're, there's, uh, everyone in our grade knows each other. So I feel like that helps a lot with the classes and getting to know just newer people. I think you're right about that is, uh, you know, getting to know people and having that relationship, mm -hmm. right? Okay, so um, we're getting ready to do uh, some walkthroughs, right? And you're going to show me some things that, here at the Ag Department. Thank you for being on the road with Carla. Thank you. What's your name? Um, <coughs> Allie Easley. And what year are you? Um, class of 2025. All righty. And you? Taylor Cook. And what year? I'm a senior. Senior. Yep. What are you going to do after high school? Going to WKU for journalism. Journalism. Yep. Love it. <laughs> All right, so we're getting ready to go into the AG Marketplace. Now, guys, this is pretty cool. It's brand new, not open yet, so you can't be running down here right now to try to buy anything. But it will be open after the new year, correct? Mm -hmm. Yes, ma'am. All right. All right, guys, this will be your uh, Bourbon County Agriculture Education Marketplace. Go ahead so you can tell me what's going on in here. So <sighs> And here is where all of our ag students can go to sell their SAE, SAE projects. Uh, I think we, we are selling some Bourbon County MFA shirts over there. And we'll have some people selling dog treats, food, plants, jewelry. And I'm going to be selling fishing lures in here. So, my question to you, it's all student made, correct? Yes, ma'am. Or, or grown. Yes, ma and then with that said, uh, where will the money go back to? Uh, all back to the students. All uh, the ag teachers get none of it. Yes. We pay a five dollar fee every month to set up our stuff in here, and then other than that, it's all our profit. So it'll go to mostly probably to your FFA group mm -hmm. and to uh, ag in general. So whoever's selling those earrings right there, other than their five dollar commission fee at the beginning of every month, they make all the money goes straight back to them. Oh, oh, I see what you're saying. So it's like a like your own business. Yes. Like all students right. will make profit. Yes. On the things that they yeah, because it's your own business. It's like you're all are all entrepreneurs all of a sudden, yeah. right? That's all right. right. That's pretty amazing. So you get the opportunity to learn about agricultural, uh, but then you also get the opportunity to learn about uh, business. Yes, all right. Pretty awesome. I like it. You want to okay. do one at a time? No, that's good. Yeah. What, what's your favorite part of ag? My favorite part is the animal part of it because I'm a farmer, my dad's a farmer, my grandparents are, so it's really been passed down through generations to me and my love for that has just grown from them. So. That's awesome, that's amazing. My so. favorite pathway is floral. Um, I've been taking that since last year. I really enjoyed the classes. I took the women in ag class last year. That was really great, a lot of opportunities. Yeah. That's awesome. So I know you're going into journalism for yes. say, but is yeah. there, do you see yourself still doing things in floral oh, or yeah, definitely. at least, at least and crafts ag. and yeah, yeah an ag? What, what about you when you graduate? Do you feel like um, you'll be? So right now I'm building up a little herd for myself out of my own money that I've made and I hope to continue it and make it bigger um, on my grandparents' farm and then eventually hopefully go to college. Um, I actually do work for a veterinarian, so I want to be a vet myself. So. That is amazing. So you're already getting that experience and you already know what yes, it's like. Yes. What about, are you doing any type of work experience right now? Yeah, so I live on a farm, Fairbed Farm, so you definitely see all of those around here. Mm -hmm. um, it's always, I love horses so much, a lot of great opportunities. That's awesome. So, so on my drive here, like it took me through some uh, back way that I've never been and I, uh, so many horses. Oh yeah, they're everywhere. So beautiful. Yeah. 
And then I got worried they were cold, but somebody told me no. Oh, no. Yeah, they're fine. Yeah. <laughs> Guys, thank you for being on the road with Carla. You're welcome.